Welcome back to the Gamer's Refuge. Yeah, this is going to be my first episode for Subnautica doing a survival game. Um, as I said in my uh, first Subnautica video that I did of, you know, showing my bases and doing a, a review and all that, you know, I will not be using any council commands in this whatsoever. This is going to be played straight up. So, uh, we start off in our escape pod, and over here in this chest, uh, from my experience, it generally tends to be, you know, items that are generated randomly. So, on this spawn of the game, I got some glass, some silver wool, advanced wiring kit, which that may actually, that will actually come in handy a little bit later, and a battery. So, what we really need is a knife. And uh, need to gather, get, start gathering some food. As you, as you can see, my food's at 45 percent. Water's doing pretty good at 87. But uh, let's go collect some food for starting right off here. Here's some fish. And got his little ass. Um, there's several other fish. Okay, the, these here are air sacs. Definitely grab them up. They're excellent for making water. Not not so good as a food source. They offer you a little bit of nourishment, but primarily they're an excellent source of water. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. So, as soon as we get our food straight, we're also going to make us an air tank so we can stay under for longer. But for right now, you know, we'll just do what we gotta do. Yeah, trying to keep anything in your hands while you're swimming, you'll actually swim a little faster. Uh, the <laughs> Gary Fish. Uh, so, yeah. If you're uh, fans of Sp SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, yeah, you get to eat his pet. <laughs> well, scanning the Aurora. Zero life signs detected. Lethal radiation levels detected. The main drive core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. Yeah. Yeah, here in, uh, here in, here in a little bit, uh, I think it's after one day, the ship is going to explode. And trust me, it's, it's awesome. I'm, I'll make sure we get a good shot of that when that when that goes down. So, yeah, definitely grab all the air sacs you can grab. Yeah, you can't have too many. Um, the best source of food is going to be these little guys. They will offer you the most filling meal, if you can catch them. They're slippery little bastards. Yeah, yeah, they're they're called peepers, and yeah, <laughs> so fish with the really big eyes. So, if you, like I said, they, they can be slippery little suckers, but just stay persistent, and you will eventually get them. Good thing, good uh, te technique I use is when I come up on them. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Um, Technique I use for catching fish is when I get close to them, I start clicking the hell out of my mouse button. Sometimes I just gotta click once. But... Yeah, those are boomerangs. They're they're okay for food and such. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much a food dive. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna be collecting on this. More peepers. <laughs> Peepers, come here. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to eat you. That's all. Now those big things there, you can't really do anything with those. They're there for more for aesthetics, I think. Jesus Christ, will you quit making me? You're making me dizzy. Jesus. Come here. 
Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm starting somewhere. Yeah, right here. Break these and you get minerals and get yeah, a little titanium on that one. It's useful for crafting and building. Dude, air sac come here. Where, where are they? I'm say, damn, they're not, normally not that hard to catch. They're usually fairly sluggish, but some of these are quite good swimmers. These little peepers. These little peepers are really slippery, though. Well, let me catch a couple more peepers. I looked at with just a couple of more of them, and then we'll go cook, get us some cooked up. And we'll see what we need for our air tank and our knife. And catch the little motherfuckers. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Ten, yeah. I guess we're getting a little bit of ways away from our pod. Yeah, I'll grab some scrap while we're out here. We can craft that into titanium. Caution. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. Sounds awesome. New creature discovered. And craft water for filtered water. It requires one air sac each. Each filtered water hydrates you by 15%. So, so air sacs are great for crafting water. The other one is disinfected water, which is uh, you have to have bleach. And yeah, we'll probably do that one a little bit later. Not sure how much percentage it fills. Because I pretty much never use it. Yeah, that's all the air sacs we had. And let's cook us up a let's cook us up a peeper. And I don't know. Let's cook up let's cook up Gary. Fuck you, SpongeBob. Oh, eat your pet, you annoying little bastard. You know what? Oh, sorry, yeah, Gary's gonna give us 18 and the cook peeper gives you 32%. Bam. And Gary? <laughs> yeah. Down the hatch, buddy. So. And let's see here. And the filter water gives you 15%. So we're doing good on our water. I might go ahead and cook up a boomerang real quick. Gives us 21, so the boomerangs aren't aren't uh, too bad on giving us some food. Three on H2O. All right, we're sitting good on our on our food and water now. So let's see, what do we need? We need a knife. Uh, some fins would be nice. Silicone that takes uh, that needs two silicones for the fins. It's going to be two quarts each to make a silicone. And we need a silicone for our knife. And for an air tank, we need some glass, which is three quarts. So basically what we need to do, we need to go hunting for some quartz. That's what we need to do. And it is the easiest to hunt for quartz at night because it's sort of they sort of light up. And we're in luck. Sun's going down and the quartz should be fairly easy to spot once it gets fully dark. So, there's usually a good bit of it around in the starter area. So, you just basically gotta find it. Uh, stuff here, uh, salt deposits. You see them, pick them up. They do come in very useful. Uh, 
Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I think the first thing we need to do is make us an air tank. Yeah, you see, you see down there? Slid up a little bit. That's that's our quartz. Got our quartz. Um, there's some more down here. There's some scrap metal too. And these are real nice. If you hover over them, they'll restore your air. Course in here. Just gotta be careful diving Warning, in these caves. From the Aurora, exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the dark matter containment field. Spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur with a probability of 83.5%. Mm. Yeah, so when the sun rises, we're gonna get us a nice little shed. Small quartz. Let's not try to get too far from our pod here because to get a good view, I want to stand on that when uh, the ship goes to blow. Oh, look at all these quartz. I think we got enough course. Let's head back to our pod. Then the sun is getting ready to Emergency. come up. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, so we, we got some quartz now. Let's go craft that into our silicone. Seriously. We need... Two silicone fur fans. Really above and beyond everything else, we need that air tank, so we need we're gonna need one glass for that. Another silicone. Alright, let's see here. Air tank, titanium and piece of titanium and glass. We got all that. Let's get us an air tank. Now have 30 more air. We got a total of 75 now. And fins, which increases our swimming speed. So now we're going to do really good. Um, we need titanium and silicone for a knife. And apparently we do not have enough quartz. So we'll have to go for more quartz here in a bit. Sun's getting ready to come up. And we have got our good spot for the for the fireworks show. Emergency. Readings from the Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. There she goes. Uh, now that that was a good fireworks show. Yeah, you hear the guy counter go off. That bitch is putting out some radiation. So, yeah, that ship is explorable. However, there is a lot of radiation leakage when you get anywhere near that ship, and it will decrease your health by a significant amount, yeah, pretty decent rate. So, in order to get near that ship, we need a radiation suit, which we will work on here in just a bit. First, you know, let's, let's get our knife and all that situated. Yeah, I never get tired of watching that ship explode. It's 
It's like one of my favorite parts of the game right there is just watching that thing go up. Alright, so we, we need silicone, so that means we need to get more quartz. So let's go hunting for some more quartz. Um, just out of curiosity here. Okay, for radiation suit we need two silicones, so that's four quartz, and we need two lead. Up in our materials, it takes three copper and one silver to make one lead, so we need six copper and two silver. And then we'll be able to craft a radiation suit. Uh, that'll be, we won't worry about that for a while. There's other things that we need, you know, that we need to focus on first. So, like I said, first and foremost, you know, let's get us a weapon. So let's find us some more quartz, and we'll pick up any other scrap we see along the way. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't check my inventory. Yeah, getting kind of full here. Well, we'll be able to grab a couple more things. Um, Oh, there's some course right there. Where are you going, Airsec? Okay, whenever you come across them, you just go ahead and grab them up. Like I said, ne never hurts to have plenty of Airsecs to turn into water. Uh, Alright, let's not fill up all of our slots here. We're, we're looking for some more quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Where are you at? Where are you at, quartz? Oh, there's some quartz. See that? Now we can stay underwater for considerably longer. Getting ready to dive into some cave cave network here. You gotta be careful in the caves. There's these little fish that are like popping out of pods, and when they come up to you, they will explode and fuck you up. So be on the lookout for those pods. They're generally down in the cave networks. And these here will give you give you some air. So those, are, those are pretty neat when you can find them underwater. Alright, I don't see no pods. Get us some cords. Yeah, you gotta be really careful up in here. You, this is one oh shit, you just get the fuck out of here. It's, I think a bone shark is what they call them. When you get too close to them, they will they, they don't have a very very much of a sense of humor. They will try to kill you. But those vines over there, um, they're creep vines. And to harvest uh, any of these creep vines, you have to have a knife. So which is why I'm focusing on making that now. For the creep vines, if you want to make medic, you know, like uh, medic packs and stuff to heal your health from being attacked, because food does not heal you, it just keeps you from dying. You need creep vines and bleach. And bleach is easy enough to make and stuff, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's see here. We want, so we want a knife, which we need one silicone for that. And let's just make this one silicone for now. Get our knife. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and make our water. stand with to have some food. Yeah, let's here, let's cook up a whole fish. And a boomerang. A whole fish. Shit. It's actually gonna give us a little bit more than I thought it would. Wow. Drink us some water. Yeah, okay, we're doing good on that again. Alright, um, let's go ahead and store some of this. Uh, store the quartz, salt deposits, titanium. Store our peepers. Oh, got a nice mushroom. Yeah, you need these for when you start making batteries and such. Alright, 
freeze up our inventory pretty good. Uh, next thing on the list is usually for me my next thing that I personally like to do is make a builder. For that you need a computer chip and a battery. So come up here to our electronics. For a battery we need three acid mushrooms, which we have one, and we need a copper ore. So, which I don't have any right now. So that's just for the battery. The computer chip need uh, two jewel disc pieces, which are easy to get. Silver ore, which is not so easy to get, and a quartz. Sear. What do we? What do we still have in here? Salt. All right, we have we have our silver ore. So that was one of the random things that it gave us. And oh, we oh we already have a battery. So okay, well, let's put all this in our inventory. Give us a quartz, and let's go get us some jewel disc pieces again, which is something that we got to have the knife for. These things down here, these little disc things growing on the side of the rocks. There's uh, one variety that will grow straight up out of the ground, but uh, these these here are very common. So go ahead. There we go. Easy, easy pie. So let's get back up in here and make our builder. And we will go ahead and build our first starter base. Now we have everything we need for a computer chip. Done. Now come down here and make our builder. Building our thing, we're going to need at least one glass, which we do have. Go ahead and take all of our titanium, because we'll need that when we craft our base. So, let's go on out here and let's get our base underway. It's just a matter of where do we want it? Where do we want to put our base? I like to get it a little bit away from the starting pod in an area that I'm going to do quite a bit of exploring in. Go ahead and take these scrap metals over here. Uh, I don't like for your first base. I don't really want to. I don't want to uh, put it in a dangerous area because we are still in a big or beginning. You know, part of the game. But I want to you know, in a good area. Oh yeah, and there's even another cave to be explored, and through there are more caves there. Yeah, this is a great place for a base. Okay, this is where we're going to put our base. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside and get us some help. All right, we'll wait for our air to fill back up, and we'll go outside and get get everything finished and get our solar panel up so we can get this get this uh, base powered. All right, so for solar panels, come over to power. We can get some titanium right here. We'll get some titanium there. Get some copper. We 
need titanium. Man's giving me cap capper for days. Shit. Give me some titanium. Oh, titanium. Bullshit. Need to hurry up. We're running out of air. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. So, but this is a survival game. This is all about survival. In real life situation, you wouldn't have uh, infinite air in the water either. So, I do appreciate the, the realism that the developers have tried to put into this. Our solar panel is now complete. Let's see. Modules. We need a, one more titanium to do our crafting station. And we need two titanium and a glass for the locker. Let's just get one more titanium and get her fabricated made. There's our ti that titanium we needed. Get our first fabricator made. And there we go. So we have our first base. It's nothing special, but it is a at least a safe haven. We have a solar power. Solar power, it is slowly climbing in power, even though it is night, it's still got a little bit of a charge going on, but it'll be far better during daytime. So, we have a fully functioning base with a working fabricator. And just keep in mind, everything that you fabricate, whether it's cooking food or making, you know, materials and crafting, it uses that power up there. So each time it'll go down a little bit and you gotta wait for it to recharge. And that's why I like solar panels, because it'll keep a, a steady recharge going on, as opposed to using power cells, which just drain, and then once they're drained, it's it. You know, at least, I believe so. I've never really used much with the power cells, aside from the, you know, the escape pod. But that's, to me, that's the way it seems. Just It just drains everything out, then you gotta craft more power cells and all that. It's just a pain in the ass. So the, the solar panels actually recharge everything on its own, so I, I like the solar panels a, a lot better. So. I don't have any food on me. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Uh, this is the first episode. You got to see a magnificent explosion of the main mothership blowing itself to pieces. Um, yeah, we collected some food. We built our 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 little starter base. You know, near some you know, like at least a, a couple different entrances to some cave systems, which will be should be really exciting to explore. Which uh, we'll probably do. I'll probably do that in the next episode. So, you know, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Le you know, please rate the video down below. Leave some comments and stuff. And I will see you in the games.